Yeah, my name is uh, Professor Julius Kipok Mayer, a professor of education and a specialist in uh, economics and planning of education. I'm also the acting deputy vice chancellor, academics, and student affairs. It's quite a privilege to welcome you to Kibabe University, a home to many in terms of academic. Kibabe University was, was founded in 2012, and we have been there for the last seven years. So we are happy to receive you, and I congratulate you for choosing to come to Kibabe University. I want to take you through the structure of the university, and at the top of the structure, which at times we call it organogram, we have the chancellor of the university, who is the figure of the university, and also he assists the university in terms of uh, looking at the overall vision of where the university is heading. Down the chancellor, we have the chairman council, and the chairman council is more responsible in terms of the management and also giving the direction of the university in terms of governance. Down the, the chair council, we have also the vice chancellor. So the vice chancellor is the chief executive for the university, is the one that concerns running the university in terms of the, its operations. And down the vice chancellor, now we have the deputy vice chancellors. And in Kibabe University, we have we are privileged to have three deputy vice chancellors. The first one is what we call the deputy vice chancellor, responsible for administration, finance, and development. And the second deputy vice chancellor, planning, partnership, research, and innovation. The now comes the other deputy vice chancellor is the one that we are um, holding, the deputy vice chancellor, academic and student affairs. So that is which will be more uh, important for you as a student is to know how the structure is uh, given at the university. So down the three uh, deputy vice chancellors, every three do their function in terms of what the vice chancellor has delegated. And we have unique activities and operations for the one that deals with administration, finance, and development is concerned with the general administration of the university and also the finances of the, of the institution. Then the one that deals with planning, uh, research, and innovation and partnership has the civic role in terms of ensuring that the university has strategic plan, it has the master plan, and then also guiding the university in terms of the research and innovation. Then the deputy vice chancellor that is responsible with academics and student affairs, which we are following in as students, is the one that concerns with academics and students' affairs. So these affairs will be more of concern of you. When you go down the academics and student affairs, we are dealing with the, the deans, the deans, and then also we have the registrar, and then in the other end we have the dean of students. Because when you look at the title of this division, it's academic and student affairs. So all matters that are concerned with the academic is added by the registrar. And down the registrar now we have the deans, which are the heads of the schools, and faculty in the institution. Then the Dean of Students handles issues that deals with welfare, discipline of the students, and issues to do with the careers of the student. So that is how the structure of the institution is in terms of academic. So when you go down the Dean or the faculty of the school, then we have the chairman of the department. In Kibabe University, we are privileged to have five schools stroke faculties. We have the Faculty of Science, we have the Faculty of Education and Social Sciences, we also have the School of Business, 
and economics. And then also we have the School of Sky, which is School of Computing and Informatics. And then we have the School of Graduate Studies. So those are the schools which are at the top. And then down of those schools and faculties, we have the departments, which every student will be always answerable to the departments where the programs are hosted. So down the departments now, you meet the course lecturer, you also meet the lecturers who are there, who will be teaching you in every day and every time in this journey of the academic that begins in this year of 2020, 2021 academic year, all the way from first year until when you read fourth year, you will be interacting closely with the lecturer and also with head of departments, which we are calling chairman of the department. The registrar will be concerned with coordinating activities, which within that hand of the registrar, we have the admission, we have the examination, we have the curriculum and learning facilities as departments that coordinate all the other faculties and schools in ensuring that academics achieve what they wish to achieve. In terms. Thank you. As a student of Kibabe University, it's also good that you should understand how the board in terms of university management is structured in the university. In the university, I had earlier on said, talked about the chairman council. So the chairman council have the university council, which uh, they have their designate work they do. Then also we have the senate in one hand, and the other hand we have the University Management Board. So the Senate is responsible in terms of making decisions that uh, that touches on academics. And uh, within that Senate, we have several committees. And one of the most important committees in Senate is the Dean's Committee, which more does the issues of clearing in terms of admission on behalf of the Senate. We also have the Student Welfare Committee we have the Student Disciplinary Committee, which deals with the work in terms of discipline students. We also have Academic Linkages Committee, Research Consultancy and Extension Committee. And then also we have Linkage Committee. And down the, the, the Senate, I had talks talks about the faculty schools. So within the schools and faculty, they have the school boards or the faculty boards. Which are uh, which are all all of them structured to follow every faculty. So we have like every school board, they always have to meet quarterly, and they do their functions in terms of ensuring they discuss about student matters, the results of the students, and any issues that are pertain to the student. Then down the faculty and the school, we have departmental committees, and our departmental committees have a distinct responsibility in terms of ensuring that programs are implemented in accordance with the requirement, ensuring that teaching and learning continues. And that is where I'd say that uh, your closest place as a student is the department, the chairman of the department and the lecturer, which will be interacting with you every time and then. Then in the other side, apart from the Senate, we have the University Management Board, which is responsible in terms of um, the management of the university and they make decisions that relates to the management of the university. So we have several committees that assist the university management board. Like we have staff welfare committee, the income and rating units committee, staff establishment and appraisal committee, training and development committee, health, security, and environmental committee, planning and quality assurance and evaluation committee, and joint university and local com community committee. So I know that at the moment you you are joining the university when you are still at your home, but once you report here, you will find that you interact closely with the community, and the local community plays a big role in your stay at the university. So that's why we have this committee which is responsible to ensure that students who live within the community 
also live in an harmonious and peaceful manner so that your academy is not interfered. We also have the non-teaching departments committee like administration and HR department, finance department, procurement department, estate department, health services department, and then also the student affairs department. All those departments deal with the administration aspect, which indirectly also relate to support teaching and learning at the university. I want to say that Ibobi University is privileged to have 52 programs offered in five schools that I've said I already talked about. We have 19 undergraduate programs. We have two postgraduate diploma programs. We have 15 master's programs and we have 10 PhD programs. In addition to this, we also have nine diploma and certificate programs. We have a total of uh, 112 academic staff. Those are in full, full time basis, but also we have more supported by part time lecturers, which will contract them in semester basis. What is also important as a student of Kibabi University is that as you begin this journey, we have a policy that talks about progression of students, whereby students are expected to attend class, to do exam, and satisfy the board of examiners. And once you satisfy the board of examiners, they will give you a clean bill to proceed to the next level. That will be now the year two. So you are not allowed to proceed to second year or third year if you have not cleared your first year examination. Also, we have fees payment, which is also a mandate uh, a responsibility of the student. And of course, their parents are expected to do the obligation in terms of ensuring that you have paid your fees before the examination begins. Because if you have not cleared, then it becomes very difficult for us to administer the examination. Also, in terms of student discipline, we are privileged that you are the university. And the universities are unique in terms of uh, each setting. We call it university. It's not like a school. A university, one of the very important things about the freedom that you will enjoy. In the university, we don't have a bell. Yeah, there is no one who will ring the bell. And that freedom is given to you as a student. But the very important thing that you have to remember, you have to remember always that this freedom also comes with responsibility. If you have found, you have done something wrong, then the university will discipline you. Then also, much, much, much important for you as a student, we have given your student handbook, which have every issues that relates about the university. We also have examination regulation, which will guide you how the exams are administered at the university. I also want to talk about the student affairs, which is the other arm that I earlier on talked about, that this department, student affairs, is concerned about students' welfare at the university and always will provide, to make, is meant to provide a home away from home for the students. You will be here, although now you are joining due to COVID, you are at your home. But once you come here physically, this will be your another home. So the student affairs always coordinate student activities, including organization, welfare societies, clubs, county and regional association, and student unions. Uh, if you are a leader, you might have a privilege to contest and be a leader or a spokesperson for your comrade once you will be here. So the, the student affairs major objective is to facilitate holistic development of students by creating a conducive environment for learning. They are also responsible to facilitate participation of students in talent and skill development and recreation. So we'll be there to identify the talents that you have, the skills that you have, so that you can exploit them and do it for the benefit of the institution, for the benefit of your side, and also for the benefit of our nation. The student affairs also facilitate the implementation of 
the preventive and rehabilitative intervention of identified vulnerable groups. There will be those students who are vulnerable, and it's the work of these student affairs to ensure that they reach to them and find a mechanism of assisting students who are vulnerable in one way or the other way. They are also to ensure that students have effective student governance and leadership. I said earlier on that if you really know that you are a leader, there will be a chance for you to show your leadership skills and campaign from the other students that they give you a vote and say that they want you to be their leader. So there will be that opportunity for you. And then also in addition, the, the student affairs department also have different uh, areas or di different focus. We have a focus in terms of counseling, which we have established an online counseling system, which assists the students in terms of those who have challenges in terms of relationship. There is an aspect of being assisted in terms of counseling. We also have wardenship, we have chaplaincy, and more so for away from chaplaincy, we have a department that deals with sports and games, which Kibabe University have always emerged to be the best in the nation, East Africa, and also Africa in terms of Taekwondo and also in terms of football. And most also for those who are good in music and drama, there will be an opportunity for you to participate. Kibabe University also have one of the best library within our nation, which this library supports teaching and learning and research with an extensive range of information resources to enhance academic work of the student. The library boasts of a collection of over 30,000 volumes of print materials and over 20,000 electronic books and electronic journals, which as students you will be privileged that you will be able to access these materials. The university also in the library facilitates an off-campus access to the library resources. So you will be able to access uh, resources even while you are at home through, we'll give you the link. And also the library supports special needs user with software to enable reading and more particular, the low vision users. So we have those privileges that you will be able to do everything in the library and access those materials. Our library has a seating capacity of 1,500 students at any given time and has a ramp leading to the upper floors to take care of those who are differently enabled. If you visit the library, you will be able to get uh, more details of information that uh, we, are, we have, which will support your curriculum in terms of the core reading materials and also the recommended materials. The other issue that I also want to also to, to highlight to you as students of Kibabi University is that in addition to faculties and schools, we also have directorates that support academic. And one of the directorates, which is very important, is the Quality Assurance Directorate. With the Quality Assurance Directorate, will closely interact with you as students in terms of monitoring to ensure that teaching and learning is done within the prescribed standards. So you will get that every time you have a forum with this directorate, and also they will be able to guide you. We also have the Office of Careers of Students, which is the directorate that deals with their careers for those who require to be mentored in terms of choosing their career, even in case you have not decided of which exactly that you want to do in your life. We also have a directorate of TVET that coordinates the TVET programs. Then also we have a directorate that deals with ODEM. And this is a directorate that will assist you to ensure that you get your learning resources and ensure that you follow the learning online. We also have a directorate of ICT that comes down to assist your student in terms of registering 
ensuring that you you are able to get your your number and then also in terms of payment and anything that will deal with your student portal so that you can access your results and also you can also be comfortable knowing what could be the payment that you're supposed to pay. So that's the director of ICT. They also want to say that as student of Kibabi University, it's a privilege to, to begin this study with you. And I want to say that um, the four-year journey will be a wonderful journey that you'll always remember the experiences that you will gain in this place, in this learning, will be experiences that would change your approach and the way that you look at things. We also will have a paradigm shift in terms of your contribution to our society and our nation at large. So what is most important that you always have to remember is to understand the policies, understand the communication. We operate an open door way of communication, but also we have the procedure. So I will always emphasize in my, in, my, in my speech that the closest place that you will find is the lecturer and the head of the department, which always you will always channel your challenges to the lecturer to the department and it will always go that structure, following the structure that I've explained and uh, you will be assisted as a student. The very important thing is for you to receive quality, which I know made you to choose Kibabe University. So I want to wish you a very best as we move together for the four years that you will be with Kibabe University and uh, you will enjoy for sure that you wish to do and even further your studies to come for masters and also to come for postgraduate the PhD programs and also to contribute greatly and immensely to our country, the great country that we love, our motherland and also this country that has brought us up. So I wish you well, feel free to to maybe to raise your issues, to raise the challenge, and to raise to be assisted so that you can have a, a smooth learning process in Kibabi University. So thank you so much. I wish you the very best.